friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. Merry Christmas, it is Christmas day, it's Friday, so even though it's Christmas, I am coming at you with my normal Friday weigh-in video. I'm going to talk with you about how my week went, we'll set some goals for moving into the next week, the last week of 2020, and we'll go over the WW workshop topic. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big, huge Christmas day thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, please take a moment and do so. I would love to have you join my community and I'm getting closer little by little to my goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. So do me a huge, huge favor and join my amazing community here on YouTube. Check out that description box down below for my nutrition coaching website, which is also where you will find my 2021 custom calendar that I released this last Tuesday. I will link the calendar down below for you and it is also on my nutrition coaching website. It's a great way to track your life, your fitness, your weight loss, your water, and your self-care. So support my small business and a huge thank you in advance for doing so. You'll also find my nutrition coaching, which is 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one sessions, as well as personalized macros and calories to help you move into 2021 a little more successfully. I recommend pairing the macro calorie calculation as well as the calendar for the perfect movement into the new year. Also, you'll find links, discount codes to all of my very favorite things, as well as my Facebook group, which we would love to have you join as well. There's a lot of resources there for support and community, so head on over and join us. So let's talk about my weigh-in. Let's talk about next week's schools and the WW Workshop. So first, let's talk about my week. It was the week of Christmas. I ended up weighing in this week on Wednesday. So a little bit early. I weighed in last Friday and then on Wednesday, just because I wanted to make sure this video got up for you today. And with yesterday being Christmas Eve, I was a little preoccupied as you can imagine. So even though it was a short week, I had a pretty good week with the exception of one thing. I'm gonna let you take a moment and take a wild guess. You are correct, my favorite time of the month is here and it actually started on Sunday. So by the time I actually weighed in on Wednesday, I was a few days in feeling a little bit fatigued and bloated, really fatigued actually. I've been very tired for some reason this cycle. I think it's just the multitude of things, the holidays and being busy with real estate and YouTube and launching my little small business. It's just been a lot. So I've been extra, extra tired. I've been a little bit more hungry, especially leading up to starting. Saturday, I ended up really overindulging. That is my high point, high calorie day anyways, but I went a little crazy. We actually had a really good Italian dinner. I had lots of delicious bread and dessert. We moved past that and we started fresh back on Sunday. So the week was a little bit of a struggle to be completely honest, just with feeling snacky and tired, but I feel like overall I did pretty good this week. So I wanna talk about the WW workshop topic. We are still in the four week series about setting boundaries. And I think this is really important, not just in weight loss, but really honestly in life in general is being able to say no and set some boundaries. So today we're going to talk about unhelpful thoughts and how to embrace those. Say hello to unhelpful thoughts. You heard me correctly. We know that setting boundaries really just kind of helps prioritize what really is most important to us. This is actually an extremely helpful behavior. But sometimes these boundaries and saying no and these priorities can lead us to thoughts of feeling guilty. And this is a not so helpful behavior. So how do we stop from getting caught up in these unhelpful thoughts? These thoughts that actually lead us to making difficult decisions that maybe aren't the best for our health and lifestyle journey. We handle them by creating distance so that we're in a better mindset to handle those decisions. So there's three tips that WW is sharing with us to kind of get there, to get on that path, to accept when we have unhelpful thoughts. The very first thing we have to do is identify when we are having an unhelpful thought, single out exactly what that thought is. An example of this may be setting some type of activity goal. I told myself that I would take a walk every single day and here I am three days in, quitting already. I never finish anything. Number two is to acknowledge that thought. Name that thought as someone from the outside. Someone looking in, what would you name that thought that you're having about stopping your walking goal? There's that thought again. The fact that I can't stick to a single thing. For some reason, I tend to think this way a lot. And number three is commit. Focus on what you want to do, not what you might do, 
because of that unhelpful thought. Just because I had that thought that I completely screwed up my walking goal doesn't mean that I have to quit. I can still work towards that goal. So identify, acknowledge, and then commit to correcting that unhelpful thought. I know for me, I'm constantly giving myself unhelpful thoughts. I'm constantly putting myself down. I'm constantly extra hard on myself, more hard on myself than I would be on one of you or one of my friends or family. So I have to remember that when those unhelpful thoughts come into play, that I really just identify them and am able to move past them and continue on with that goal. Maybe I didn't do exactly what I said I was going to do, but it's better to continue on than to quit. So I really like this topic. Again, I think it's a great thing to think about and something to be mindful of. When you feel those unhelpful thoughts entering into your mind, how do you combat that? And how do you turn that around and make it positive and productive? Like I said, it's Christmas day. Merry Christmas, my beautiful friends. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope that you get all of the goodies that you asked Santa for this year. And I hope that you make some amazing memories with your family. For me, I am enjoying my holidays. I'm enjoying Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and my goal is to get back on track the following day. As you know, I am not currently tracking. For the entire month of December, I decided not to track. I was going to eat mindfully and see if I was able to be successful at maintaining my weight through the holidays without physically tracking. And just kind of a recap for you, the first week I gained 0.1, so I essentially maintained my weight. The second week I actually lost weight, and last Last week I had a zero change on the scale. I completely maintained my weight. So this week when I stepped on the scale, I'm actually up 0.8, about a half of a pound. But like I mentioned, it's my favorite time of the month. So that's a little bit to be expected. And maybe that extra indulgence on Saturday isn't doing me any favors this week on the scale. So let's go back to goals. This is something I really want to talk about in today's video. As I mentioned, I have not been tracking and I told you that I would not start picking up tracking until the first of the year, but I've changed my mind. Although I have enjoyed the freedom of not tracking the month of December leading up to the holidays. And honestly, I'm extremely, extremely proud of myself for basically maintaining my weight. I think overall for the month so far of December, I believe I'm up about 0.2. So essentially I have been able to maintain my weight without tracking. But although I've enjoyed the freedom, my mind is ready. I'm ready to get back to tracking. As weird as it may come across, I miss it. I miss tracking. I miss having that visual at the end of the day of how many points I ate, how many calories I consumed. And I just miss, I guess, the control of tracking my food. So I have decided that the day after Christmas, Saturday, December 26th, I am back to tracking. And I'm hoping that next week when I weigh in, I can deliver some stellar news to you. Now that I'm back to tracking, I should see a loss on the scale. I'm going to continue to double track both my WW points as well as my calories. This is just something that I choose to do. Now you do not have to double track. You don't have to track calories or points or both. You do what works for you. This works for me. And I enjoy having the data from both programs, from WW and from tracking my calories and macros. I also want to remind you that my number one one goal is to hit my calorie and protein goal and points to me are secondary. If I go over my points, I go over my points. It's really just data for me. It is important to me to maintain this metabolism that I've built up, which has helped me maintain my weight by not tracking. And in order to do that, I have to hit my calorie goal. And in order to feel full and satisfied and optimize weight loss, I have to hit my protein goal. So that's my goal, you guys. That is what is happening moving in to this new week, starting on Saturday, December 26th. No splurge day on Saturday because I'm enjoying myself on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So back at it on Saturday. So let me know down in the comments how your week leading up to Christmas went for you. And of course, I want to hear all about your Christmas Eve and your Christmas Day. And if you enjoyed today's video and it kind of brightened up your Christmas Day, give it a big, huge thumbs up. It means a lot to me and lets me know to continue doing these weigh-in videos moving into the new year. Also, if you've not yet subscribed, take a moment and subscribe. Of course, I would absolutely be honored to have you here in my YouTube community. Check out that description box for my 2021 calendar, as well as my nutrition coaching website, links and discount codes to my favorite things and my Facebook group. We'd love to have you over there as well. Thank you guys so much for spending some time on your Christmas day, watching my video and supporting my channel. It really means a lot to me. Merry Christmas. I love you guys so incredibly much, and I will see you in tomorrow's post Christmas back on track. Well, back to tracking grocery haul. Bye.